So what's a fibroid? It's a muscle growth of it or connective tissue, muscle and connective tissue conglomerated together with less than a 1% chance of cancer. But that doesn't give you the visual, a grape, an orange. This is a nice visual of trying to see how a fibroid can affect you. Now, mind you, not all fibroids affect you, but watch this. Let's pretend this is your uterus. The inside part is where you bleed each month, the endometrium. Now, let's pretend there's a fibroid in there. If the fibroid is in there, it can result in the bleeding to be heavier. It can be more painful. And if it's a huge fibroid, it can definitely do that. Now, it's position dependent. Where a fibroid is located can really affect the fibroid's effect on you. Meaning, if the fibroid is on the outside of the uterus, like meaning if this is the fibroid and it's just not on the inside aspect, you may just feel a little pressure, you may feel some discomfort, but it doesn't, it's not as profound as when it's on the inside part of your uterus. If it's called a submucosal or intracavitary fibroid, those are the fancy words for it. But just keep in mind, if you have a heavy period, give us a call or you know, make an appointment with your OBGYN. If you have further questions, hopefully this helps you recognize that a fibroid is not necessarily bad.